what's up guys, it's Tales Mustache here and today gonna show you guys the Devil May Cry Discharger build. It's finally ready. Do you see this charge blade right here? That's right, actually it doesn't look like a charge blade, but believe me, it is. It's the Dante's Devil Sword, the new charge blade from the Dante event. Now let me show you guys its features. The Dante's Devil Sword comes with a throw attack of 720 with blue sharpness no matter what is your handicraft level, 10% affinity if you have the affinity increase augment, 150 thunder element, and 2 level 1 jewel slots, and the impact file. Now, with all these pieces and skills together, we've managed to get a total attack of 817 with blue sharpness, 25% affinity, 150 thunder element, and 451 defense. Now, it's worth noting that this set has a very nice amount of uh, elemental defense, uh, resistance f uh, versus fire, thunder, and dragon elements, uh, which may come in handy. Now, let me show you guys the other pieces that I have in this setup right here. So, here we have the Dante's Hair Alpha. The Dante's Coat Alpha The Dante's Gloves Alpha The Dante's Belt Alpha The Dante's Leather Boots Alpha And the Attack Charm 3 Now let me show you guys all the skills that I have together in this setup right here So here we have Attack Boost Level 4 that increase your attack by 12 points and your affinity by 5% Critical Eye Level 3 that increase your affinity by 10% Weakness Exploit Level 3 that increase your affinity by 50% when hitting weak spots of the monster. Artillery Level 3 that increase the power of your files by 30%. Evade Window Level 3 that increase your invulnerability window. Focus Level 2 that increase your God Fuel Rate by 10% and reduce charge times by 10%. Latent Power Level 1 that while active increase your affinity by 10% and reduce stamina depletion by 10%. Capacity boost level 1, that increase your uh, file capacity by 1. Uh, it means that instead of having 5 files, you're gonna have 6. And special ammo boost level 1, that increase the power of special ammunition by 10%. Which is not useful for this build right here, as you're using a charge blade. But if you're going to use any kind of ranged weapon, they're gonna, they're gonna be handy. Now let me show you guys uh, the decorations that you're using in this setup right here. Okay, so here we have 1 Attack Jewel 1 that increases your attack boost skill, 3 Artillery Jewels 1 that increase your artillery skill, 1 Magazine Jewel 2 that increase your capacity boost skill, 2 Charger Jewels 2 that increase your focus skill, and 1 Expert Jewel 1 that increase your critical eye skill. Now, if you don't have the artillery jewels, you can actually use a different loadout that I'm going to show you guys right now. Uh, you can use this loadout right here. Uh, here, you can see we have Critical Eye level, level 7, Weakness Exploit level 3, Artillery level 3, Evade Window level 3, Focus level 2, Latent Power, Capacity Boost and Special Ammo Boost. We don't have the attack boost. But in this case, you, you don't need the artillery jewels. But in this case, you're going to have to use five expert jewels. Or if you have attack jewels, you can switch some of those for attack jewels instead. But that's pretty much it, guys. You can work with the level one jewels you have. And the, and the jewels you don't have, you can use the, the proper charm to uh, actually make up for it. Now, let's come back to the other build. Uh, here. So that's pretty much it, guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration here in the training arena so you can actually witness the true power of this beer right here. So thank you for watching, guys, and now check this out.
So that's pretty much it guys, you can see we're able to hit up to 282 with the first hit of the Super Amped Element Discharge, 296 with the second hit and 69 per file, uh, that's 69 times 6 with the files of this Charge Blade. Uh, this is not the strongest Charge Blade uh, build around, but I would put this build in the cool and funny builds category, which I gotta say man, this build is not bad at all, it has extremely good uh, stats, it's balanced, it has 817 attack, a uh, very high amount of blue sharpness that's gonna last for about 150 hits before going to green, 75% uh, affinity when hitting weak spots of the monster, and 150 uh, thunder element. We also have 451 defense and a very nice amount of elemental resistances, which comes really handy. So, I, I gotta say, this build is pretty balanced, uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing with this round, and I recommend you guys to try out because it's really funny, man, it's really good. <laughs> the design for this build is incredibly good, man, I also like it pretty, pretty much, the fashion side of this. So that's pretty much it, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Monster Hunter builds like that. So, thank you for watching, guys, and until the next episode, see you!